The History of Halloween. A fun and scary holiday. Halloween is a colorful and delicious holiday. It's mostly celebrated in the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom and Ireland, where it first began. On October thirty-one, trick or treaters pour pour into the streets. Creepy music oozes from the Halloween parties and haunted houses, and people dress up in all kinds of costumes. Monster girls, superheroes, and princesses, for all ages, celebrate together. Today, Halloween's greatest popular popularity may be in the United States, where it is important is both culture and business. Halloween turns up Hollywood movies and popular songs. Halloween means big business for American stores too, since people buy Halloween candy and costumes every year. The Halloween holiday celebrated today is part of a very old tradition. It began in the Celtic people who lived in the Great Britain, Ireland, and North France about two thousand years ago. The Celts, Samhain, the Celts of Ray. Celebrate a harvest festival called Samhain. Each fall, Samhain has some things in common with our New Year celebrations, as well as with Halloween. According to the Celtic calendar, October one thirty one, the final day of the year, was the final day of the year. The Samhain celebration on October thirty one. Was a way to say farewell to an old to the old year. The Celtic Saha Salins Festival also had a supernatural side. The Celts believe that the stories between the world and living and world of living and death were open. Were open on the eve of Samhain. As a result, the spirits of people who have died during the previous year could cross over the underworld. The dead could appear and communicate with living. To help the dead on the journey, Celts lit bonfires and sacrificed crops and animals. The Celts also believed that prices could see the future during this festival. The predictors made made the Samhain Samhain were an important part of the planning of the new year. The two beginnings of Halloween, beginnings of Halloween. Later, the Christianity spread throughout Europe, and the Catholic, the Catholic Church tried to replace Samhain with their own traditions. Traditions, for example, the Church declared an an All Saints Day on November one. This celebration was now was also known as All Hallows Day, on October thirty one. The day before All Hallows came to be called All Hallows Eve, which later, which was later shortened to Halloween. Many of the older Celtic traditions lived on this on in this new holiday, especially the belief in supernatural activity. On the night of October thirty-one, the Halloween traditions we know today are influenced by the Celts. The Catholic Church and the legends of the medieval, medieval era. Costumes and trick or treating, the tradition of dressing up in costumes have changed many times over the centuries. Halloween costumes probably began with the Celts, who dressed up like animals during their Samhain. In the medi- medieval England, people walked the streets. Streets dressed like fairies, witches, and ghosts, helping to frighten away these creatures. This practice was called mumming, and people often gave mummers food and drink. If the food and drink were offered, people thought that the spirit would go away without making trouble. This practice had come down to us today as trick or treating. Adults give ch- candy to children. So if they get a treat, we'll hopefully move along with the performing, without performing any tricks.
jack-o'-lanterns. Many people create jack-o'-lanterns each year at Halloween. Jack-o'-lanterns are made of carving places or designs into a pumpkin. Then a pumpkin, then a candle or other light is placed inside the pumpkin to brighten up the carving. Jack-o'-lanterns come from the Irish story about the man named Stingy Jack. Stinky, Stingy Jack liked to play tricks on his friends. When Jack died, his spirit was forced to roam the darkness as a punishment for his mean personality. To light this way, he carved a hole in the tree and placed a candle inside. Because of this, Iris called him Jack, Jack of the Lantern, and later Jack of Lantern. People in Ireland and England used to carve scary faces on the, into the turnip, into turnips, beets, and potatoes. Then they would place candles inside to create a jack o' lantern. These jack o' lanterns were meant to look like Stingy Jack's terrifying face. When they, when many pe- many Irish people moved to North America in the 1800s, they brought the jack o' lantern tradition with them. The tradition of using pumpkins in jack o' lanterns, however, began in the United States in the mid 1800s. Pumpkins made ja- great jack o' lanterns. They were large enough to be carved in all kinds of designs, and they were easy to find in the fall. Today, creating the displaying jack o' lanterns is an important part of the Halloween create. Celebration. Tradition of the path. Traditions of the past. Some Halloween traditions that were that were once that were once popular was less well known today. Interestingly, several of the traditions come from the Celtic Celtic custom of fortune telling in Samhain. So on. A classic Halloween party game of bobbing of apples where this is back. Example began as a form of fortune telling. This is in this game, players attempt to remove an apple from a tube of water using only their mouth. The first person to get out get an apple was supposedly to be first to marry later in life. Today, fortune telling has dropped out of many Halloween games. However, people might meet a fortune teller at a Halloween party or a haunted house. Halloween today, the more Halloween celebrations is fairly new. Though this often mixed with older traditions, this is especially true in North America, where the holiday was not widely celebrated until 1800s. Halloween was formed upon upon by many of the first European settlers in the New World. The Purry Times, for example, discouraged people from celebrating it. The holiday became much popular when the huge numbers of Irish immigrants came to the United States in the 1800s. They brought their Halloween traditions with them, including jack-o'-lanterns and mumming. Gradually, more and more Americans celebrated Halloween. Unfortunately, though, as Halloween celebrations became more popular pranks became common on Halloween night. In the 1930s, the pranks have become a major problem. Some city governments tried to remake Halloween into a family holiday with trick-or-treating events for children. Trick-or-treaters in the 1930s and the 1940s received cookies, fruit toys, and pocket change. Candy became popular, a popular treat. Treat as trick or treating gained steam in the 1950s. However, the little Halloween candy bars common today didn't appear until the 1970s. Although the treats have changed over the years, kids' examination hasn't in the United States alone. More than 41 million children. When trick or treating in 2014. Celebrating in a crowd. Halloween's popularity is growing, especially in the United States and Canada. More people celebrate trick or treat Halloween each year. 
Some cities hold community recruiting events at malls, churches, and community centers. These events help keep trick or treaters safe from traffic, street traffic. The crowds are made up of children alone. Adults are celebrating Halloween in increased numbers. In 2015, people plan, plan to spend more on costumes for adults than on costumes for children. The new adults also host local Halloween parties as well as dressed in costume. Halloween is fun for kids, but adults definitely don't want to be left out. Mix of old and new. Halloween today looks different from the celebrations of the 1950s and 1800s. And there's a sewing festival of the ancient salt. The tradition, its traditions are still changing, making the new or with the new. Today, Halloween is rich with traditions from several different cultures that people of all ages can enjoy.